Hello there, this is Steve here in Sydney of the Lake Gnosis website, truebluehealer.com, where in just 20 minutes you can get physical evidence of divine spark activation in yourself, which renders all the great religions irrelevant and also um, uh, renders atheism irrelevant. Those two alternatives, most people think, is all there is. But there is a third alternative, which is your um, natural inbuilt um, spirituality of religious uh, tendencies um, used for the right purpose that most of you don't even know it exists so you'll never know and uh, but you get lots of evidence uh, two types of physical evidence uh, messaging vivid dreams um, and ultimately an internal mentoring voice and uh, after a few months of this you will realize that everyone else is asleep okay so you come to bless them it's not their um, it's not their uh, their fault that they want to dream on and remain asleep as veritable sleep walkers okay but um, you can do this anytime the website works 24 7 okay all questions answered uh, I've still got some things to tell you about the Armenian genocide I don't think uh, the average person today knows enough about it and it needs to be widespread and I've already said in the previous video that it needs to be on every um, lamppost and every telegraph pole and every vacant brick wall in Europe today in particular France and Germany which are hamstrung by uh, Holocaust laws okay where well, you can't criticize or question the Holocaust but a gift from the gods has literally arrived with the German government officially certifying the um, Armenian genocide as an official, fully certified, unquestionable genocide by every modern standard of genocide. So uh, here we have young Germans today who are being pilloried around the head repeatedly with what their grandfathers allegedly did in World War II. Um, and they have no defence, so they're beaten into living in a corner, feminised and making the most left-wing bleatings while they are being holocausted off the face of the planet by um, Jewish lobbyists in Wall Street. OK, so um, there's a huge benefit in this unexpected benefit from the German government. Well, you've now got a counter narrative. Young Germans today now have a counter narrative which has to be brought home uh, it can be done with a poster campaign, which can be done at a local level by motivated young people today. Um, I'm hoping you can get some corporate sponsors to produce weatherproof um, um, Armenian genocide posters with that haunting image of the crucifixes on it, with the, the, uh, th those Armenian women who were just um, crucified in a, in a line. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why that is so significant. Um, unable to mention so far, I'm going to tell you now, you might wonder, as they are chopping your head off, as they are crucifying you, what's going on in their heads? Well, are they dark and sombre and determined to get this gruesome matter over and done with? Uh, absolutely not. Um, over the centuries, the survivors of such huge massacres have uh, reported that and this is included in the Armenian genocide, that the executioners um, are celebratory in their behaviour. They sing and dance joyfully while they're doing it. They literally dance in groups. They leap in the air with joy. Now, why would this be? Because it's their lifelong teaching from their uh, imams that your dead body, you're the unbeliever, your dead body is the stepping stone to paradise for them. Because the Quran does say, if you don't kill an unbeliever, you're not a fully-fledged Muslim. And it's doubtful whether you'll ever get to paradise. So killing one is your passport to paradise. Okay? Now, at the moment, mostly apathetic Muslims are people in Europe. There's about 45 million of them. Um, they will become emboldened as there's more and more Muslim policemen. Um, white policemen even today are turning their eyes away from Muslim crime. They're not even allowed to write down certain crime names like rape. It's not to be written in police notebooks, for goodness sake. You can't even record the nationality of the perpetrators who are all from the, uh, the Middle East and Third World countries. So it's, I don't think it's going to get any better with the present governments that we have. Uh, at the moment, this calls for... Um, conspiracy theorists in Europe to be sent to re-education camps. That's how desperate uh, Jewish activists are getting. 
and that's why I've been saying recently that uh, it looks to me like another Holocaust is on the way because of uh, recidivist Jewish behaviour. It's unchanged. They played a significant role in motivating Ataturk to slaughter 1.5 million Armenians, you see. Now, the narrative for young Germans today, the counter-narrative against the Holocaust drivel, which is designed to shut you up and stop you protesting while they holocaust you off the planet, um, is that basically Adolf Hitler got the green light by noting the Armenian genocide was hardly ever talked about. No one said anything, no one did anything. No resolutions internationally, no calls for this or calls for that, no calls for revenge or inquiries. And bizarrely, the Turkish government kept all the records of the genocide and still have them today archived. And um, um, they kill the intellectuals first, all their community leaders, doctors, dentists, lawyers, all the people who had good, good vocabularies who could express themselves, um, councillors, MPs, there were some in the capital. So um, literally Armenian people were taken out of their office buildings in the capital Constantinople, now called Istanbul, and they were literally hanged in the streets in hastily erected gallows. And you've seen a picture of that in the previous video. I'll bring it back to you in this video. And... Uh, that was done in the capital city of Turkey, Constantinople, for goodness sake. Um, so, the Turkish government never thought to delete the records as a way of covering it all up. They kept it, which is, I don't know, unusual. Most people try to bury records of such horrendous crimes. The newly announced uh, official government German certification of the Armenian Genocide being a true and unquestionable fact uh, gives young Germans a counter-narrative to hurl back at all their critics that uh, you're bringing in the very people, uh, Turks, Ottoman Turks, the same race of people, the same group of people, um, that did that and still have the same uh, firebrand religion that the only way to go to heaven is over the dead body of an unbeliever and the Merkel government and the Greens and that sort of thing are bringing in more and more of these people. Um, so that's a, fa a good counter-narrative and it's got to be kept going by constant reminders uh, in public, as far as I can tell. A very simple um, poster campaign on telegraph piles, brick walls, urinals, anywhere you can allow you're allowed to put it. I'm thinking that um, um, Europe's a pretty wet country um, maybe you need weatherproof posters. I don't know how you get around that, but you might need to do a bit of research on can you print uh, quality photographs on plastic posters with waterproof glue. I don't know, but that's a European problem I'm sure they can solve. But it could be done uh, electrically on the internet. It could be in all your emails. It could be a reminder uh, for letterheads and all sorts of things. You just put your mind to it. Western people are very creative about getting messages across. And we've all fallen victims to advertising, haven't we, where there's literally advertising in your face at the petrol pump, on your mobile phone screen, every computer screen, um, uh, every magazine, every, every newspaper is really an advertisement paper, isn't it? It's not a newspaper at all, is it? So um, we know that advertising works because that's how you know so many household names. Uh, that's how you recognise so many household concepts. And uh, you just introduce another one, the Armenian Genocide, uh, which gave Hitler the green light. If he'd, if he'd been told there'd been an inquiry and people had been arrested and uh, other nations had protested and that sort of thing, um, international courts had been convened, had been organised to, to hear um, uh, testimony on this first great genocide of the 20th century, that might have stopped Hitler in his tracks. And uh, it was the same people uh, perpe uh, perpetrating the genocide, advising Ataturk, namely um, um, uh, crypto Jews posing as Turkish Muslim intellectuals. Okay, that's how Ataturk was approached. Just going back for a second to the 1915 event, it was planned in secret, and a list of uh, intellectuals were selected as the first to be got rid of. The ones with the big vocabularies and the educations, the ones who knew how to speak and knew how to approach government ministers, etc. Um, 
Well, lists were sent out with the death squad, and when the person was killed, um, there had to be written notification go back to Turkish military headquarters, you see? Because they were the most vital people to get rid of. Now, you always do that first when you're doing mass genocides, OK? And um, archive today, all the names are there in the Turkish archives. And the idea is to do it all again in Europe. Uh, the same people with the same religious book, the same imams. Erdogan wants to do that to Europe. He wants to turn it into an Islamic caliphate. And the road to heaven, so when you've got, say, 75 million or 100 million Muslims in Europe, there'll be, well, there's a right, you just kill one uh, unbeliever and you're guaranteed a place in paradise, and it'll be legalised to do it. The police, the Muslim police will be turning a blind eye to it. The white police already do that, don't they? So um, that's what you're looking at. Unless you um, do your bit to keep Turks out of Europe. Um, Chancellor Kohl, 20 years ago in the mid-90s, in Germany, was trying to get rid of Turks out of uh, Germany because they were not compatible with European um, lifestyle. I do remember, there's something funny about their IQs. I remember reading reports about when they went on their annual holidays, there was a trail of wreckage from all the car accidents um, of Turks going home from Germany to Turkey to visit home for three weeks. And, um, and I do remember there was jokes about what side of the road do Turkish drivers drive on? And the, the answer was, well, your side. Uh, they were famous for driving over pavements to get round red lights, um, uh, overtaking on the inside of hairpin bends, that sort of thing. Almost like they've got a different understanding, a different IQ level, different way of thinking to the normal civilised European. They don't see the value of rules. So they need a firm military dictator to keep them in line with a high level of fear in their life to... Um, to uh, maintain order within their higher level of natural criminality, okay? Their income per year, by the way, Turkish people, is 4000 a year, about 10 times less than that of the average European, okay? So, we're talking about a different culture of people that shouldn't be allowed into Europe, and I'm hoping that the, uh, the official certification of the uh, Armenian... Armenian genocide now being unquestionable. It cannot be questioned. It's German government certified will be um, another rock on the back of Erdogan to keep him out of Europe. Um, I don't, he's now got about 72 reasons why he can't be admitted into the EU, which would be a disaster if he ever got there, okay? So, I'll leave you there.